Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Geek. Today I am using the ABIS HD 6K 4th generation projector and I'll be showing you how to download an app using Aptoy TV, which is an app that is installed on the projector itself. Now the projector does come with pre-installed apps, so if we go to look at some application stores that have been installed, um, there is Google Play Store and Aptoy TV. Now Google Play Store does require a Google account so it does require you to log in so if we just go onto Google Play you can see that I have already logged in so I can straight away start downloading apps from Google Play now you know Google Play will not have every single app such as Netflix so for this we have Aptoid TV which is another application store but just has optimized apps for the projector um, this requires no login and you have different apps such as YouTube and you have Netflix and even Prime Video and it's really useful just to have optimized apps for the projector itself without updating the whole projector. Now you need to make sure Apto TV itself, the app, is updated. Now usually there's a notification that comes up to tell you to do that. If not, it's okay. You can go to the home screen and from the home screen we can go to the file manager once you're on the file manager, from the top you go down to app and you will see, for me, I have an Aptoid TV update. Um, so all I need to do is click on that and it will ask me if I want to install it and I will just go ahead and install that. Now this shouldn't take too long, this is actually reliant on your internet connection so mine shouldn't take too long, it should take a few seconds. So once that's installed, you can either press done to go back to the home screen, but we're just going to go ahead straight and open it. So it'll take you back to the home screen and from there you can go and straight and download anything you need to. So I'll show you an example. So if we go to the search bar, it's asked if I want to record audio. I don't have an audio device connected to the projector right now, so I'm just going to deny that. Um, or else you can connect a microphone. You can see the icon for the mic to just speak and it will type everything for you. So I'm just going to click on the search bar and from there i'm going to search now tv now i'm using the remote to use the keyboard um which is really useful for like personal use when you're just sitting at home and using the projector because you're literally typing things from the comfort of wherever you're sitting without having to go up and type things etc so now that i've searched now tv you will see the top row, it will be apps compatible with your TV. Now this means apps compatible with the device we're using, the Avis projector. So there's one now TV selection that's there. And at the bottom, you will see all results and it will just give you everything from the closest of what you typed in. But obviously we want the apps compatible with our projector. So I'm just going to click on now TV, the one that is recommended. And I'm just going to go ahead and straight install it. So this will start downloading and again, this will be dependent on your internet connection as to how fast it does download. Right, so once that has downloaded, there will be a notification coming up that asks me to install the application and we are going to install the application. This is for the projector itself, so that you install it into the projector so that you can start using it from the projector. And again, this how fast it does install is reliant on your internet connection. So after that, um, you can press done to go to the home screen, but we're just going to go ahead and straight open it. And once I've pressed open, as you can see, it has taken me straight to the loading screen. It's pretty quick, for me anyway, because of my internet connection. Um, but the projector in general does run quite fast. So as you can see, um, I'm on the Now TV home screen. And Now TV has so much to offer. They have um, different movies, they have like entertainment packages and like a whole kids section so it's really like family friendly to be honest um 
but of course it does require an account so if you can see um if i was to watch a movie click click on movies such as um, lion king um and it will take me to the lion king page give me a little bit of information about it and if i want to go press play it will take me to the login page now if you have an rtv account you can just type in your account sign in and you carry on watching the movie like you normally would if you don't there's a selection on the bottom that says not allowed tv customer find out more you just click the link and the projector itself will take you to a web browser of the now tv website so you don't need to get out a whole device like a laptop or anything just to sign up to now tv you can literally do it from the comfort of the projector which makes it really useful so once that's loaded you can see in the top right corner there's a join now tv button you click that and you go ahead with um, the instructions and just sign in or sign up so that's all for today's video i really hope this was really helpful because i know a few people do run into a few troubles when it comes to um using apps that are already pre-installed um i do recommend aptoid tv but if you do have any questions feel free to leave a comment below um details of the projector itself that i'm using the avis hd 6k fourth generation projector will be in the description box below please like and subscribe for more helpful videos using the projector.